Today I wanted to talk about a movie that, um, well, it's been a while um, since I have watched this. Um, came out in 2016, um, and, uh, well, it's uh, The Accountant. Um, really good film. Um, ben Affleck stars as Christian Wolf, who is a math savant. He has autism, and he uh, does a lot of accounting work for various people, uh, particularly dangerous people, uh, criminals, and, um, you know, basically, you know, he's freelance. Um, and there's a treasury agent, played by J.K. Simmons, who has been trying to find him for years, and um, seems to be uh, getting fairly close. Uh, to finding out who he, who he is, and um, uh, there's a robotics company, um, uh, and uh, Anna Kendrick, who, uh, she is an accountant at this uh, company, and, you know, she's going over the books and found a discrepancy, and so they call him in, and he goes and looks at it and finds out that there was money missing and uh yeah and from there there's this whole like uh, whole web of uh things like just uh trying to figure out what exactly is going on with the money and um as well as other things like murders and uh that have happened and uh we see how uh, he's very proficient at, you know, shooting as well as fighting. And we see a uh, backstory with, uh, uh, throughout the film with uh, him as a kid. And how his father was in the army. And he moved around a lot. Um, as a result. Uh, uh, he also has a brother. Um. And this is just a really good film. Um, performances are really good. Uh, you know, ben Affleck, uh, Anna Kendrick, J.K. Simmons, John Bernthal, Jeffrey Tambor, and John Lithgow are fantastic, as is everybody. Everybody in the film does a great job. Um, I'm being sort of vague because, you know, while this film, when it came out, it did really well at the box office. Now, as time has gone on, this film has kind of been sort of forgotten about. Every so often, I remember this film, and I'll, I'll watch it, but I realize I never really talked about this before on my channel, so I thought, why not just uh, watch it again? Um, I've always enjoyed it, so I, I, pretty, I was pretty uh, certain I'd, I'd still enjoy it, but you know, all of a sudden, all these years later, I watch it like, oh, this movie sucks. I mean, it doesn't suck. It's a really good film. It's an excellent film. Um, it got mixed reviews. Uh, the consensus seems to be the performances, particularly Ben Affleck's performance. You know, you know, they're all really good. Him in particular. You know, um, um, but people just kind of thought like the whole. All the stuff with the searching for who this guy is and uh, some of like the I guess conspiracy stuff or and the all the stuff with the yeah, company and the looking over all the books and all that seemed to be kind of like muddled or confusing or something or just and it really isn't. Um, it's pretty well done. It's pretty self-explanatory overall it's not you know complicated and yet it's also not very simple it's it's you know you can follow it you know even if perhaps for a moment you might have gotten a bit lost which i don't think you would normally but even if you did it, it kind of reels you back and it shows you um you know it's uh, 
what's happening and it, it's all pretty good of me and it's not all that uh confusing thankfully <laughs> you know i don't think it's confusing at all but yeah, i don't know could be for some um and that's another thing with the is uh, the puzzles um one of the first things you see in the film is you know christian wolf as a kid you know he he's putting a puzzle together and then you know, you, by the time you see it at the end it's it was upside down he was able to put the whole thing together without even flipping all the uh, pieces over to actually see what he was putting together which was a you know a, you know a puzzle of muhammad ali you know after he punched a Uh, blanking on the guy's name but you know it's like one of those iconic pictures where he's like going like that after he just knocked a dude onto the ground um but it's really cool uh, uh this movie is really good um it, you know this is a film where uh, what by the time the movie ends it's like you know you kind of wanted to, to keep going yet you're satisfied with what you've got you know in a way this would be cool to see a sequel and ben affleck has wanted to do it you know either as a another film play this character again or perhaps even a tv show considering how many uh films rather than having a traditional sequel to uh continue the story you know a theatrical film or I guess in this day and age it could also be streaming though i think this would be it would be worth uh, watching a sequel in the theater um but you know there are tv shows that kind of continue off where a film left off so that could be kind of cool but uh, you know there were some people who were like you know like director uh gavin o'connor um You know, uh, like he he doesn't really do sequels to his films, and so some were like, you know, that just means that you know don't expect a sequel to happen, and if it is going to, it probably won't uh, involve the director of this film. But I have seen some stuff where the director has commented how uh, like there's talks of a sequel, and now like a deal is either being made or trying to be made so that'd be cool you know this would be a movie where if there is a sequel i would welcome it i think it would be great um granted some of the characters in this film probably wouldn't return um and there's reasons and again what part of the reason i'm being fairly vague is because you know you know, while it made a lot of money at the box office, and for a good while people were talking about it, particularly how a lot of people were like, you know, many of the critics were completely wrong, you know, who gave it uh, negative reviews or even were mixed. You know, this film uh, is really good. Uh, but, you know, the critics got it wrong. Um, but, you know, this was one of those films where it came out, a lot of people saw it, and then it just sort of, you know went away it came out on obviously blu-ray and everything but then just you know sort of went away unfortunately in, in terms of conversation and so while here and there you might hear something about a potential sequel uh at least being hoped by like ben affleck and then later on the director commented how there seems to be some sort of headway going forward with a possible sequel um but yeah because this movie was very popular in theaters you know with people going quite a bit because it did make a lot of money uh you know a lot of people were you know it just kind of just went away after a while you know people who saw it and enjoyed it you know bought the film uh people who hadn't seen it before but heard uh, from people that it was good, bought the film and watched it and uh, probably on HBO Max or 
uh, I guess now Max, because this is a Warner Brothers film, so there is that. Um, yeah, this is a film that I uh, wouldn't mind uh, a sequel to. I, I really wouldn't. There are some films where, you know, you watch it, it's really good. You know, there doesn't need to be a sequel, you know, at all. Or the need for one is basically so low that uh, when you hear talks of one uh, being discussed, you're just kind of like, why? I think one for me, right off the top of my head, would be Joker. Um, I enjoy that film. I think it's a really good film. But I, I, I didn't think that we needed a sequel, uh, particularly one where, you know, it's a musical. Um, you know, that's me. Um, of course, the film itself could be very good. So I don't want to be like, oh, well, the sequel just flat out suck. But, you know, it's one of those unnecessary sequels that I don't believe needs to be made. And of course, you know, the sequel itself could you know, prove me wrong, as well as those who are sort of of a similar mind, where a sequel to The Joker doesn't need to exist, yet when seeing it, it could be like, oh, okay, this is why a sequel was made, because there actually was more to that story that we just didn't think before, uh, think of before, so that's really cool, that if, if you know, movies like that uh, where you see it, it's really good, and it should be a one-and-done thing, but then there's a sequel, and you're like, no, oh. But then it turns out the sequel is actually quite well done, and seems to have an actual purpose, you know, then that's fine. This is a film where um, I would welcome a sequel. Um, would it be needed? No. But, you know, I don't think it would be, it would harm because in a way, the ending, it kind of, you know, it's like it wraps things up. And yet also you're, you, again, part of you wants more. Um, <clears throat> but if you don't get more, I don't think that would be a bad thing. Because sometimes it's good when uh, some films do just stay as one. Because sometimes sequels, even if it might have an open ending of sorts where a sequel could happen, um, you know, sometimes if they do make a sequel, it isn't as good. Um, um, and I know Ben Affleck is somebody who um, isn't at everyone's taste. Like, sort of the parts he has taken that are, you know, either very bad, was not a good choice on his part, um, or, you know, it was just, you know, it was just a uh, misstep for him. Like, you know, he himself may not have been bad, but the film itself, you know, was. Though, you know, even he's admitted for some of the films that he's done in the past. Like in the wake of Good Will Hunting, he did a lot of bigger budget films where he got a lot of money. Though some of the stuff he's like, you know, you know, the plot and everything seemed to be very be very interesting so excuse me um but you know the film itself the films themselves like were you know very interesting and the scripts were uh either unique or different and he just decided to um, go ahead and do some of those films even if perhaps <laughs> it wasn't the best quality, but, you know, perhaps he also got a pretty good paycheck out of some of those films. Um, but this is one where he was really good. You know, it's an action film, uh, action thriller, um, some, some crime as well. Um, yeah, if you haven't seen this film, I'd recommend it. I don't, um, Again, this is from 2016. Obviously, this came out in 2017 because 
this came out like in October, so yeah, it would have been sometime early 2017 this came out, but very good film. Um, if you haven't seen it, it should be pretty uh, uh, easy to get on like Amazon. Uh, um, very good film. Um, and if you've seen this, uh, you know, what do you think? Do you enjoy this film? Do you perhaps dislike it? Or do you like certain parts of the film? Or and dislike others? You know, why or why not? You can comment below if you want, or you don't have to. You can do what you want. But yeah, this is a very good film, in my opinion. Um, yeah. thing I keep forgetting to say is greetings at the very beginning of everything now of my of these videos which that and again you know doing this sort of series of just specifically talking about movies you know for over 400 episodes you know when you get into a sort of pattern of saying something like hello or whatever at the very beginning you're it's gonna be completely hard to just change uh, everything right away, so, you know. Yeah, I wanted to try to say greetings, but, you know, whatever. I, I don't think that will happen. You know, it's too much of a thing when I'm doing this sort of, uh, uh, video, just talking about movies, and, uh, yeah. Sort of, like, I guess I can auto-pilot thing to at least start off one of these videos with, I don't know. It's just something I've noticed. I, like, I, I was gonna change up things, like, at the very beginning. Something very small, but, you know, it's like, you know, a little change didn't hurt, or, or usually doesn't hurt. But, you know, whatever. I guess it's at least best that I'm saying all this at the very end when it's like I have no more to say about this film without spoiling it. But again, people haven't talked about this film in years, so who knows? Maybe to some extent this uh, film will be talked about a bit. Um, probably not massively, but you know, whatever. Uh, it's a good film. I enjoy it. So yeah, hope all of you are doing well. Hope you're all having a great day. Hope you've had a great week. Hope you'll have a great weekend and next week will be great too. Um, yeah, in a few weeks it will be Christmas in the end of the year. So yeah, I hope uh, your holiday season, whatever, if you celebrate anything this month or don't, whatever. I don't know. Everyone's different, but if you celebrate anything this month, I hope you'll uh, have a great holiday season. But if not, I hope you'll still have a great uh, <clears throat> month all the same. So I hope all of you are, again, just doing well. And uh, yeah, see you all next time. Take care.